Hi guys, this is Banglish Plays and welcome to episode 2 of our Inter Master League. Now unfortunately we're not off to the best start because I know I haven't uploaded the past few days even though I've had time. It's basically because I've been ill the past few days and yeah I know it's not the best time to get ill but luckily being in quarantine uh, it prevents me from spreading it to other people so I guess that's a positive. But today I'm feeling a bit better and I need to keep you guys entertained so let's get right into this video. So as I mentioned in the last video, we definitely need a backup goalkeeper. So what I think we're going to do is um, going for these three, the three youngest ones, 24, 23 and 22, and uh, see if their respective teams accept our offers and then we'll decide who to go for. But before we get our answers back, we have got a match against Fiorentina. So let's see if we can continue from the first match with another win. So we're going with our main starting lineup. Um, only a few changes in defence due to form with Godin and Ashley Young coming into the first team. So Fiorentina kick off, of course we are away. Come on, let's go for those three points. Oh well done Laudaro, intercepting but the defender might get to that first. Let's see if we can block it out. Yes, well done Eriksen. Into Brozovic, who's going to take a shot. First attack, first goal. It all started off with that uh, frontline pressure from Laudaro Martinez. And well intercepted. Eriksen first on the ball there. Spots Brozovic making that bursting run through the centre of the park. And no way the goalkeeper was stopping that smash of a shot. Ashley Young making a run down this right wing. Takes a touch into the box. Lukaku! Oh, great save by the goalkeeper, Barilla. Into Ashley Young, takes a touch inside, into Laudado, spins, takes a shot! Oh, what a goal that would have been. Let's see what we can do from this corner. Just smash this one in. Someone get on the end of this, Lukaku! Well done, well done. Um, I mean, it's so difficult to beat Lukaku in the air. He is such, just a brick house, man. Uh, this guy, this guy in the air is almost unbeatable you can't hold him off you can't out jump him what a goal 2-0 chip through ball into Lukaku he's gonna get to it first takes a touch takes a shot oh we are just destroying Fiorentina right now and I mean I've said this before I said this before we started this season that combination of Laudado and Lukaku up front it's just the defenders can't cope with it. They really can't cope with it. But take nothing away from the pass, the touch, and especially that finish. Just watch this. Look, left footed pass. Little dink touch with his right. Gives the goalkeeper no chance with that smash. 3 0. Fiorentina on the attack here. Takes a shot. Handanovic. Good save. Got down quickly there. Barilla down this right wing. No one challenging him for some reason. He's going to take it himself. With his left foot blocked there. Can we get it back? Oh, it looks like we can. Eriksen double tap into the box. Good opportunity. All right, let's try a repeat of that earlier corner. Smash it in there. Come on, someone got on the end of this. Ah, oh, Skriniar. 4 nil. Why are Inter so good at corners? I, I just, there's, there's something about this team, man. They are so good in the air. You've got... Big Rom up front. You've got the massive defenders. But uh, I think Biragi second assist as well. And I mean, goalkeeper could have done better. Don't think so. 4 0. Oh, that up. Looking for someone to give it to. It's going to spin. Hold it up. Into Ashley Young. Oh, should have started running earlier. Into the box. Eriksen over the bar. And that's going to be half time. 4-0, we are absolutely destroying Fiorentina. I mean, sure, yeah, we're not doing the best in possession, but we are hitting them on the break and from set pieces. As you can see, seven shots, five on target. So a lot better than that game against Napoli where we weren't getting our shots on target. And it shows, I mean, we are doing really, really well. And Fiorentina's not a bad team. They're really not a bad team. But um, we're just getting clear-cut chances and putting them away. That's basically it. Since he's on the ball here, says he's gonna take it, since he's gonna shoot. Oh, good save. Oh, mistake there by the defense. Big run, big run, big run. Smash. 
he slips and he still scores. I thought he'd fluff that. I really, really thought he was going to mess that up. But that's a hat-trick for Romelu Lukaku. Well deserved. He's played so, so well today. Defenders, I don't know what you're doing there. No communication. Big Rom almost, almost messed up. But it's 5-0. Oh, no mistake there from us. Oh, the Fiorentina almost got a goal back. And that's full time, 5-0. As you can see, second half. We didn't really do too much. I mean, possession was more balanced than in the first one. Shots, not too many more, really. Just controlled the game, basically. And yeah, very, very, very comfortable win. Okay, so we've had answers back um, from the teams for their goalkeepers. And, well, it seems that Lille want 25 million. Then Schalke want 14. And Sheffield United only won eight. So this is a bit of a, a tough, tough decision. I mean, this guy's only 24, but look at his stats. 23, also very, very good stats here. And then obviously Henderson, the youngest and uh, probably the worst, although he's very good. Um, so I think what we're going to do, just because of the, the cost and everything, I think what we'll do is we'll play it safe. We'll go in the middle. So we won't go too expensive and we won't go too cheap. We're going to go for Nubo. I think that's how you pronounce his name anyway. Uh, and that way we will have some money left over uh, for more transfers as well. So let's accept him. Welcome to Intermate. Okay, so that means that we have 32 million left over. A salary budget still of 408,000. That's just that's just too much. Um, so what I've gone and done is, um, and this is, you guys can do it as well. Uh, go over to your manager's office. Uh, go to budget settings and if you see that it's unbalanced for example we've got a lot of salary but not a lot in the transfer budget in comparison just put it all to receivers transfer budget and then at the end of each month you will receive more money and what I think we'll do is um, maybe not make any more changes but um, keep some of the money we have and save it so that uh, if we want to make any signings in the January transfer window we can do that Right, so we go into our second match of today, and that is against Sporting in the first match of the Champions League. Right, so this is the lineup we're going with. The only change is Gagliardini coming in, and as you can see, we've had to make a few changes in our subs bench because obviously in the Champions League matches, the bench is reduced to seven, so it's a bit confusing. We have to keep changing things around, but the rules are the rules. Right, so here we go, guys. Our first match of this Champions League campaign. Let's see if we can kick it off with a win. Oh, Sporting with a chance. Handanovic, what can he do? Good save. Ford should have done better, though. Nice play here. Oh, Lukaku should have done better. Good for someone to give it to. Back into the centre. Pass it around here. Gone, D'Ambrosio. Touch. Into the box. Oh, good save. And, ah, oh, for a second, I f forgot it was on manual shooting. Ragi on the ball here. Into the box. Gagliardini! Gagliardini on the ball. Into the box. Lukaku! 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 No! Oh, what a rubbish touch. Alright, half time. Nil nil. And uh, this match for now is like night and day compared to the other one. I'm finding it really, really hard to break sporting down. Well, yeah, you can. Pretty much see it there. Possession, more or less the same. They do have a slight edge, but um, those shots, man. I mean, we're not doing good enough in this match, and I don't think we're creating enough chances either. Yeah, you got a free kick with Ericsson. I think this is our first free kick. Not sure how good Ericsson is, but we'll take a shot with him anyway. Oh, deflected, and I think maybe that took the pace off the ball a little bit. Cafiardini on the ball. Into Ericsson, takes a touch, takes a shot, well wide. Love that has got it here. Into Lukaku, into Ericsson, into Biragi, cross it into the box. Oh, that, oh yes! Ah, oh, we haven't really been doing much this second half. It's been so stagnant, but finally we managed to break through Sporting's defence and get a goal in. Ah, uh, I thought we'd kind of lost it here because we we're just passing it about. Biragi held his run very well there, and Lautaro just bursting in, managed to get on the end of the ball, and finally the deadlock has been broken. 
Well done to get ahead of the defender. 1-0. Biragi on the ball here. To Alexis. To Brozovic. Spins. Takes a shot. And I think that's going to be it. Full time. Go on, ref. Just blow the whistle. Give us the three points. There we go. End of the match. Full time. 1-0. Yeah, not the most interesting match, unfortunately. Yes, we did have nine shots, but nothing really clear-cut apart from the goal. Obviously, we should have had a goal in the first half, but uh, like I said, I forgot we were playing on manual and I completely messed it up. But anyway, a win is a win. That's three points we take away from this, and it's a, a good start in this Champions League. All right, so all in all, a, a very, very good episode. Three points in the league, three points in the Champions League, so couldn't have asked for a better episode really. In the next episode we will take on two top top teams. We will be playing against Lazio who of course in real life were contending for first spot and Atalanta. Hopefully for the next episode I will be feeling better. I apologize if my head isn't really here or if I'm not as enthusiastic. But anyway if you enjoyed this episode make sure to leave a like and show your support and subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys very very soon.